Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about Jellyfin top 10 must have plugins. Myself, Mohammad Zubair, at this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, in one of our other videos, we talked about the guide, installation and configuration of Jellyfin. In today's video, we'll see in detail that what 10 plugins we should have in our Jellyfin in order to have the best performance out of it. First of all, let's go to the menu section and let's go to the dashboard. From here, scroll down and go to your plugins. These are the plugins that I have already installed into my system. Go to your catalogs and here you will see all the available plugins that you can install into your Jellyfin. These are the one as you can see. We have general category. This is the one for the authentication purpose that you can have onto your Jellyfin for your users. If you scroll down, these are the one related to live TV. Then we have some metadata. These two, which is NEDB and Analyst, these two can be used for the NMA category. If you love NMA, you can go for these two. Other than that, we have here repositories. If you just click on it, what you can do from here, you can include third-party plugins into your Jellyfin and we'll do the same in here. So first of all, what I want to show you, I want to show you that what third-party repositories are available that you can include into your Jellyfin. Here, if you see, if you go to the official documentation of Jellyfin and then if you go into server guide and here we have plugin section. In that, you will have the information for all the available plugins that you can have into your Jellyfin. If you scroll up, it will give you more information about the plugins. Now, if I scroll down, you will see that I have different repositories available. As you can see, it says repositories. I can include any one of these into my Jellyfin. I'll show you some of them. Here we have one of the repositories and in that repository we'll have these plugins which are merge versions, skin manager, theme songs, etc. To include that particular repository, we just need to copy this particular link or you can say this particular hyperlink, go back to your Jellyfin which is right here and from here click on this plus icon. After that we just need to paste the address or a link and then from here in terms of the name you can have anything. Let's go for the username. I'll just paste it. Let's click on save and we have successfully included one of the repositories. After that, I want to include one more and this time I look for a username with D K A and A D A. Here it is. Again, we'll copy this manifest. Go back. Here it is. Let's click on this plus icon and here we'll paste the repository URL and here we'll add repository name. So I'll name it as D K A. N A D A. You can name your repository anything. There is no compulsion. Now let's click on save and we are good to go. Okay, let's go back one more time to our plugins. It is right here. In case if you want to have more detailed information about the plugins, just click on any one of these and it will open a GitHub repository for you. Here we have the GitHub repository. From here, you can have all the information about each plugin. I'll just click on this one. Here we have all the files of these particular plugins. This is the plugin.cs file and here we have the API. So these were some of the repositories that are available officially on the Jellyfin website. Other than that, there are many other third-party plugins repositories that you can have into your system. For example, if I just search for top 10 plugins for Jellyfin, here you can see we have different articles that we can go for. This is the official repository from the Jellyfin and this is the repository from the GitHub. I'll just click on this one and this GitHub repository contains many plugins that you can install and you can have into your server. But I'm sure now that you have an idea that how you can have different repositories and then how you can have different plugins into your Jellyfin. Now let's go back, let's close this one, let's close this one as well and let's open our Jellyfin server. We are back and now let's go to our catalog and now you will see that we'll have more plugin available than earlier because we have included some of the repositories into our Jellyfin. Now, let's talk about the plugins that we should have. First of all, I look for a plugin that is called as Skin Manager, which is right here. I'll just click on this one and after that, I'll install this one into my Jellyfin. So from here, just click on this install button, 
click on OK and this will get installed successfully into our system. Here it says it has been installed successfully. Just click on got it. Let's go back and this time we'll look for another one. This time I look for a plugin that is called as fan art. So let's just search for it. Either you can choose this search icon or you can press Ctrl F onto your system and you can search for the one you are looking for. Here it is. I'll just click on it again and let's install it one more time. You might be wondering that what does this plugin do? Well, as you might have seen that whenever you are onto some streaming services or onto some streaming platforms, there are some images available on the movies, TV shows, seasons and things like that. Fan art is a plugin that can provide you with the images that you can have as a thumbnail for your movies, for your shows, seasons and for anything that you can have onto your Jellyfin. So for that purpose, I'm going to use this particular plugin. Just click on this install button and we are good to go. We are done here. After that, let's go back. And this time I look for a plugin that is called as TVDB. So let's just search for that. Here it is. And I'll just click on this one and let's install it into our Jellyfin. Well, what does this plugin do? Well, this plugin will help you to get the metadata for your shows, movies, seasons, and any other multimedia data that you will have onto your Jellyfin. So let's install this one and let's click on got it. We are done with this one as well. On number four, the plugin that I'm going to install is called as reports. Either you can search for it or it is right in front of you. I'll just click on this one and let's install it. Well, I have already installed it. That is why I do not have to reinstall it again. Even if I just click on it here, it says version is already installed. Basically, this particular plugin will give you all the information about your multimedia data onto your Jellyfin. For example, name, length, the resolution of the movies or the shows that you have onto your Jellyfin and many other information as well. So make sure to install this one as well. And we are done with this one. And let's see what do we have next. On number five, the plugin that I'm going to install is called as Merge Version. So for that purpose, again, I'll search for it. So I'll just write here Merge. Here it is. I'll just open this one. Well, as the name suggests Merge, this particular plugin will group the movies, shows or the season that you have seen in the past in one particular group. For example, if you have seen movies that are based on action, Merge Version plugin will group those movies in one group. And let's say you have watched some of the seasons. What it will do, it will merge those seasons in one group. So basically, it will help you to organize your history onto your Jellyfin. So let's install this one as well. After that, I'll click on OK. We are done with this one as well. The next one is a very interesting one. And many of us likes to have subtitles whenever we watch any movie or any show online. So we are going to install one that will help us to get the subtitles and that is called as open subtitle. So I'll just search for it. Here it is. I'll just open this one and let's install it. Okay, there are some plugins that need extra effort. For example, if we talk about open subtitles, in some of the cases, it might ask you to have your account on open subtitle website and then you can install this one. But in my case, it did not ask me for that particular account and we have successfully installed it directly. Let's go back. We are done with six plugins and on number seven, we have playback reporting. Let's just search for that. Here it is. I'll just open this one and let's see what it is and what does it do. Well, this particular plugin enables the collection and the visualization of your user onto your Jellyfin and the media activity on the server. And not only that, you can view this information as a multitude of different graphs. And again, the installation process is really simple. We just need to click on this install button and we are good to go. We are done with this installation as well. On number eight, we have TV Maze. Again, it's a plugin that helps you to have metadata for your shows, for your content or anything that you will have onto your server. So let's just search for that. So I'll again write here TV Maze and here it is. Let's just open this one and let's install it. I'll just click on this install button and we are done here. On number nine, we have a plugin that is a really helpful one and that is called as t -Rect. Let's just search for it. Here it is. Let's just click on it and let's see what it does. Well, this particular plugin is like a platform that can do a lot of things, but mainly it keeps track of the shows, 
movies and the content you watch on the Jellyfin server. Along with that, it also uploads the watched history, ratings and playback progress to your profile. Then it also synchronizes the data between the supported applications. And not only that, it also links all of the Jellyfin users to their individual profiles. So how cool is that? Let's just click on this install button and let's install this one as well. For number 10, I'm going to install NEDB. Well, if you love anime, this one is a must have. So here it is. I'll just click on this one. Well, basically I have already installed it into my Jellyfin. If I just click on this install button, it says it is already installed. So let's go back. So we are done with the 10 plugins that we must have into our Jellyfin. At the end, I'll talk about two bonus one. First one is Analyst. I'll just click on this one and let's install it into our system. Let's click on install button and it has been installed successfully. And for the last one, I'm going to have LDAP authentication. This will help you with the authentication processes onto your Jellyfin server for all the users you have, you might have, and you are going to have. Just click on this install button and you are good to go. And here you can see we have all the information as it says authenticate your Jellyfin user against an LDAP database and optionally creates users who do not yet exist automatically. So basically it's the same information that we were talking about. So let's just click on this got it button and we are good to go. Okay, after you are done installing your plugins into your Jellyfin, there is one thing that you need to do. You need to restart your server so that the changes can take place into your system. So either you can install one plugin and restart your server or you can restart your server once after installing all of your plugins together. So we have done the same and now it's time to restart our server and then I'll get back to you. Here is my Jellyfin. I'll just right click on it and here it says start Jellyfin. It means at the moment my Jellyfin is stopped. So I'll just click on it and now we have successfully started our Jellyfin and now it's time to open it. Again, I'll right click on it and this time I'll click on open Jellyfin. It will open that one into a web browser. From here, we need to sign in into our server. So these are some of the movies and down here we have some of the shows that are available onto our server for our audience or you can say for our users. Now I'll show you that how some of the plugins work. Let's go to our menu and from here we'll go to our dashboard and then we'll go to our libraries. At the moment, we have two of them available. So for the movies, I'll just click on its menu button and I'll click on manage library. Now let's scroll down and here we have metadata downloaders. So if you remember, we included analyst, NEDB, the movie DB, and we have one more. So what we can do, we can prioritize that what should be on top of our list. I'll go for NEDB as my top priority. Then I want to have analyst on second number, then movie DB, and then we have the open movie database. Let's scroll down and let's have another priority. Here it says image fetcher. So let's say you have movies or shows available onto Jellyfin, but there is no picture thumbnail available. So what you can do, you can use these resources in order to have images. So again, I want NEDB on the top of my priority. Then I want to have fan art and then I want to have any list. Okay, let's have fan art at top of our priority. Let's scroll down. Here we have subtitles downloads. It means you have to select the languages that you want to have as subtitles. So let's just search for English. Here it is. We have successfully selected English. So whenever we want to download or we want to have subtitles, it will be in English language. You can go for any other language as per your liking as we have a lot of them available in here. So how easy it is. Again, scroll down and have the settings as per your liking. Click on OK and we are good to go. After that, let's click on this menu again and this time go for scan library. And from here, make sure to go for the option that says replace all metadata. As obviously we made some changes. Now let's click on this refresh button and everything will be refreshed. Now let's go to our home and you can see now we have picture available or you can say we have image available for our movies category. Earlier there was nothing and not only that we can also see progress bar at the top right corner. So it means changes are taking place. And now let's go to our movies category and here we have some of the movies available. Now let's select any one of these. Let's go for big eyes. I'll click on this more button and from here let's click on edit images. 
So here, if you see, we have some of the primary images available that are from the internet. From here, I'll go for primary. So I'll just click on the search button. And here, if you see, we have many thumbnails available, or you can say we have many images available that we can have. First two are from the fan art, and then we have the movie DP. And if you remember, when we were prioritizing our plugins, we went for fan art as our number one priority. And that is why we have images from the fan art at the first, and then we have other images. So this is how you can change images, and this is how you can use plugins to have different resources. Let's do the same for our shows as well. Here it is. Let's just open this one. And from here, we have three of them. Let's click on this more button. And from here, let's click on edit images. Let's go for primary. And let's see what do we have in here. And if you see here, the movie DB is a first priority in here. Why is that so? Well, it is because we did not change the metadata for our TV shows. We only went for movies. So in order to have fan art as a first priority in here, we have to change the metadata for this particular category as well. How can we do so? Well, again, go to your menu from here, dashboard and go to your libraries and go for your English shows library and you can have its metadata change. Go to your manage library section and you can have your priorities just like you had for your movies. I'll just click on OK and let's go back. And this time, let's have Skin Manager. If you remember, we installed that one as well. And let's see how does it work. So again, let's go to our dashboard. And this time, I'll go to my plugins. And in here, I'll just search for my Skin Manager. Here it is. I'll just open this one. So at the moment, the default skin has been selected. Let's see what do we have in here. Well, we have these skins available that we can go for. Let's just go for Jelly Skin. This is how it is going to look like. Well, it is pretty similar to the theme of Jellyfin, which is official one. Let's go for some other one. It is Jellyflex. Well, it is just like Netflix. Let's just select this one and let's see how does it look like onto our system. For that purpose, just click on set skin. And here you can see this skin has been applied successfully onto our Jellyfin. And it is pretty similar to the Netflix. So this is how this particular plugin works. This time, let's go for reports plugin. Let's go to dashboard and let's open our plugins one more time. So from here, I'll just search for reports. Here it is. I'll just open this one. Here we have the names of all the movies that we have onto our Jellyfin. Then their date added, release date, their genre, their runtime and other information. And this time, let's go for the episodes. Here we have. So these are all the episodes of different seasons that we have onto our platform. And here we have the other information here as well. Let's go back and let's search for open subtitles. I'll just search for that. Here it is. I'll just open this one and it will ask you for your username and password. And in here, you should have the API key for your open subtitles. Well, this is the official website of open subtitles. And from here, you can get the key very easily. After that, you just need to paste the key in here and you are good to go. And that brings me to the end of this particular video. So basically, we have seen that how we can install different plugins from the official repository of Jellyfin and how we can add third party repositories as well. And then how we can install plugins from those repositories. So I hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this particular video. If that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.